Hello from Scotland. Hi. A couple of years ago, the housemate James and I decided that as much as we love going abroad for cheap, we should probably try and give it a go in our own country. So we got ourselves a car and headed up to explore the Scottish Highlands on a route called the North Coast 500. Since I don't do YouTube full time, the videos never quite made it to screen. However, since I've got a bit of extra time at home at the moment, I thought it was finally the time to get them edited. Expect incredible views, amazing food, quirky accommodation, empty beaches, and even perhaps a drink or two. This trip, honestly, I can't believe I haven't published it yet because it is one of our favorite holidays ever. And it just goes to prove that you don't have to go far and you don't have to spend a lot of money to have an amazing time. The next six days, we will be roaming the Scottish Highlands, including Ardbrick Castle, Achmelvick Beach, Dornet, Durness, John O'Groats, Loch Ness. Okay, technically Loch Ness, not part of the North Coast 500, but we wanted to see Nessie, didn't we? We tried. Tactics, your techniques for fire Nessie. So what I'll do is I'll probably open my eyes and put my right hand on my forehead. Do that a couple of times, see it, take a photo, bring the newspaper. I'm going to go for the peep and pounce. Peep and pounce. We're at the back of the boat, which you might be thinking we're not going to see her. We should be at the front. No, that's what they're, they're all idiots. We're going to see her because she'll be just creeping back in the jacuzzi backwash. So we've just got off the boat, no Nessie. No, and no refund for no sighting. Didn't even show up. Unbelievable. Let me tell you a little bit about this road trip. It's called the North Coast 500. It's got more and more popular over the last few years. And it's it's exactly what it sounds like. It is 500 miles of around- great roads. Around the top of Scotland. So we're both really excited. James especially, because he loves driving. And we've got a nice car, we'll show you it later. One thing to say, if you fancy planning your own trip like this, uh, do book in advance, don't do what we did, which was book 16 days ago. There, there aren't that many hotels around here. There's a lot of B&Bs, but they get snapped up fast, especially in the summer. However, did manage to find some deals. You know I like a good deal. Um, but bear in mind that James and I, we don't like slumming it. So we could have gone cheaper. I've managed to do six nights for £250 each, which That's for right. Scotland is pretty Good decent. And we've got an array of accommodations to take you through. But starting with last night, we checked into a BNB b in a place called Fort Augustus. Just come into Inverness now. We're going to go a further 15 minutes to Culloden Moor and find out some history. Now you may think £11 is a lot of money for a museum. I agree. However, Willie is a guy who runs Scotland's Route 66 website. His website is so helpful if you're plotting your own North Coast 500 route, especially because all the information on it is free, not through the official site. Um, and I've been chatting to him and he said it's so important to understand the history of the Highlands. So we're gonna pay and we're gonna find out. And he said it will help us enjoy and appreciate the rest of our trip. around the battlefield you can do that for free so the 11 pounds just for the museum we don't mind paying it because national no, no. trust it's run by national trust it's very very well done right let's get this road trip started go keep turning corners 
corners of the scenery is just insane, isn't it? And there's nobody on the road in summer. It's Scottish summer holidays. There is no one on the road. We had to stop because the view in front of us is just insane. Also, James wanted to take photos of the car. Oh. So we left a Glen Doherty viewpoint, which was stunning. Back on the road, and we're getting very, very close to Bielk Nabar, which is an infamous road here in Scotland. Well, not only in Scotland, in the world. It is well known to be dangerous but incredible. How are you feeling about it, James? Excited, look yeah. at it. We're not on it yet. Oh. We're just starting to see the single track roads come out. I mean, are we, are we going up there? They do say to people, if you're a learner driver, don't go near it. Same if you're driving a motorhome, don't even try. You'll have to find an alternative route. Coming up, there is a massive hairpin turn up there. You ready for it? We made it, we didn't die, and we're now at Apple Cross, which is teeny tiny, but there's I think a cafe up there and in down there, so we might have a drink. How was it for you, James? Great. Do you love it? Yum, yum, yum. Like that. If you like them kind of roads, then go up it. So we're staying in Gearlock tonight at a B and B. We could go back the way we just came, however, just to spice things up, we're gonna follow the coastline all the way around. I've had to get myself an ice cream, golden syrup flavour. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We've been on the road about three minutes and we've had to get out because it's so bloody beautiful. So the B&B is above a coffee shop when it's open, also a bookshop. So in the morning, our breakfast will be uh, down here. I want this one. And here is the room. Here's our four poster bed. But perhaps the best thing about this is definitely the view. It's lovely. What do you think of your second B&B ever? It's nice. I made a request for two bottles of Zesty and Ziggy, here's his ordered. Shower, shitter, sink. What you need. So, the end of a very busy first day. It's We've ten, done loads. It's ten to nine now. And I've gotta say, maybe it's because the sun was there. The drive from Applecross all the way up to Gaelock was the most epic scenery I've ever seen. Oh, uh, we kept stopping the car. We were a nightmare. We're we're like an hour late here. I was like, I wanna fly my drone. <laughs> James has like got this. a toy drone. If you're gonna do it, don't go back up the fancy road, go along the coastline, because no. it was so nice. Also, if you can get a B&B &B in either Shieldag or Torridon, the scenery around there was absolutely beautiful. Nothing else there, you couldn't, you couldn't go to a pub. The reason we chose Gearlock is There's because- There's a pub, it's there, and we're gonna go. Now. So we will join you tomorrow in our epic 
trip as it goes on. We are doing Gerlock to Ullapool tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click like, subscribe. There's going to be loads more coming. I'm going to tell you how to do it all for cheap and it's going to be epic. Let the scenic shots continue. <laughs>